Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm a voice teacher and stage director. Whether you're a professional pop or rock star that's wanting to take your performance to a next level, or you're just interested in making your car singing or shower singing easier and more comfortable and fun, I can help you get there. I'll start doing that today by reacting to and teaching you singing and performing tips that we can learn from the top performers around the world. Today we're going to be learning from Dimash doing a tribute to Michael Jackson. I've been so excited to do this video for a while and I'm finally getting around to it. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. We can admit. Permit the way. Give us all that Nange. See you in the next one. So, see you Michael Jackson is going to be the one who's going to
So do you remember when you first became a Michael Jackson fan? I remember when I was younger and when Captain EO first came out and there was a video along with that with the making of Captain EO or something. And I couldn't help but watch that over and over and over and over again. And uh, I had heard of Michael Jackson before then and listened to him a lot, but that was a, I was just floored by that for some reason. And, and of course love Michael Jackson and think his work is amazing and what a loss to not have him anymore. So, and then obviously, do you remember when you became a Dimash fan? That's probably more recent than when you became a Michael Jackson fan. For me, it's actually doing one of these reaction videos. I was doing a video with Sam Johnson and he wanted to do a Dimash one and so we did and it was awesome. I was just floored and so I've been doing them about once a week since because I absolutely love what I see and think there's so many cool things going on and so much to learn from what he's doing. One of the things that I noticed was what happened when he was put on the rig uh, that was attached to his costume that then took him up into the air. I noticed how well he kept lined up his breath and how he is using it still stayed really consistent. So our vocal tip for today is to keep your breath suspended and keep it consistent. I'll talk more about the suspended part today. So what you can do today to do this is to just breathe in. Feel what expands just normally taking a nice deep breath. Now what you want to do as you start singing is to imagine that those muscles are still engaged. They're still suspended. They're still going out even though you're singing. This is called maintaining the sensation of inhalation, which is a fancy way of saying it's going to feel like you're still breathing in even though you're singing. What this does is it keeps the diaphragm from getting tight and rigid. It keeps that, it keeps it so that air keeps moving through it. It makes it so that extra tension doesn't start creeping up through the body. And it's how we control our airflow. So imagine that I'm stealing this analogy straight from a mentor of mine who I love dearly and respect tremendously. His name is Dr. Arden Hopkin. Kudos to you, Dr. Hopkin. The analogy is this, is that if we blow up a balloon, what's going to happen when we let go of that balloon? Well, the air is going to come out and the top of that balloon where we blew the air into is going to flop around and vibrate and make sound, right? Well... There's a few ways we can control that air coming out. First and first of all, though, do we have to push the air out? No, it'll come out on its own. So do we need to crunch at it and really press the air out? No, we definitely don't. Second point is, is the balloon that's going to be more full or half full going to have air come out faster on its own? Well, the more full balloon, because it's going to have more resistance, that's going to get that air coming out. So The analogy is same here. At the top of there, the part that vibrates if the air comes out would be our vocal folds. And the rest of the balloon would be kind of our lungs. So what happens is if we really take a full breath in, that air is going to want to come out on its own without us pushing it out. So the real challenge is how do we control that air coming out and keep it in a way so it's consistent. So that sound is, the sound coming out is consistent and it's vibrating 
in a way that's reliable and consistent and sounds beautiful. Well, one way is we can go to the very top of that balloon and go ee! and squeeze the top, right? Well, that's like putting pressure here and tension between those vocal folds and creating pitch and breath control by constriction of the throat. Not so much what we want. The other way we could do it is if we are like paper mache our hands around that expanded balloon or if we super glued it or something so that we can keep the balloon out with our hands and slowly just a little, let a little bit out at a time. We're not pressing it out. We're not forcing it up. We're just keeping it flexible and letting a little bit out at a time, which is what we're wanting to have happen with our voice. We're wanting these muscles that are below the rib cage to keep those guts out as long as we can, which will keep that diaphragm in a lower engaged position and slowly just let the air out bit by bit so that a little bit of air is traveling fast through those vocal folds in a really consistent way. Awesome. And if we're watching what he's doing here, that's exactly what we're seeing and hearing, is we're seeing this suspended breath that whether he's dancing, whether he's on his knees, whether he's being flown up into the air, he's keeping his breath suspended. The performance tip for the day comes from when he calls his audience his friends. Do you believe it? Do you believe he actually thinks of his audience as his friends? I do. How he's talking to them, how he's relating to them, how he's performing to me suggests that he sees them as his friends and he's offering his friends this gift and he's just offering himself and his singing and what he has, giving them the best he has. The shift in mindset away from me versus them to us, we're all experiencing this together is a really helpful and important mindset for a performer to have. Rather than performing being an antagonistic performance and taking that and shifting it to be a community building experience, a group experience, takes a lot of pressure and stress off our mind and frees us to perform, to share, to express, to communicate, to interact. And that is really huge. And I think that's exactly what he's doing here. I think for most people, if they're walking on the stage, they'd be terrified of what people would think, how they would judge him, how they'd be comparing him to Michael Jackson and trying to see who's better. But he doesn't seem to be concerned about this at all. Is that because he is tremendously confident and arrogant? No, I don't think so. I think that's because he is genuinely doing a tribute. He isn't trying to imitate or beat or outperform Michael Jackson. He's just sharing some music and performing that he loves with an audience. It makes for a really powerful paradigm that performers can use to not only reduce performance anxiety, but to make any performance their own and to make it feel like it's their first, even if they've done it a hundred times. The second performance tip here is to not be obsessed with what you can't do but to commit to what you can do. Can he dance like Michael Jackson? I don't know, maybe, but that's not the point here. I'm not sure I've seen anyone dance like Michael Jackson could dance. Either way, what he's doing here is committing to what he can do and owning that and focusing on making that the best possible thing he can offer the audience instead of obsessing over why it might not be exactly perfect or why it might not be just like Michael Jackson, because that's not the point. He's not Michael Jackson. He's not trying to be Michael Jackson. He's trying to be Dimash paying a tribute to Michael Jackson, which is wonderful. If we wanted to see Michael Jackson, we would just pull up the video of Michael Jackson doing it. We want to see Dimash. To me, I think it's really awesome to see him engaging and exploring this music as himself. If you want a voice lesson, a performance coaching, or want me to work with you or your group to help you sing easier, perform at a consistently higher level, book a time with me at mrperformingartstudio.com. Let me help you sing easier and find what it is to perform as yourself. I look forward to working with you online.